guys, Muxy Design here, and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be um, designing a album artwork cover because um, I've seen a lot of you asking. Um, I've had a few DMs and a few people commenting on the videos that they want to see more um, album artwork covers um, and how to make them. Um, so I'm going to show you a really like simple one, and it looks it looks really nice. Um, so I've just gone ahead and looked through a couple um, 60s horror comics. I mean, you could go like 70s, see what we got. Um, you just want something that like kind of looks cool. Um, let's have a look here. Um, I want something with not too much text on it, but I want it to be... So I think I had, I had some, yeah, this. This is looking quite cool. Um, I'm gonna take this into Photoshop and see what we can do with it. I'm gonna enlarge it to about there. Uh, then I'm gonna take the the spot healing tool. If you rasterize, make it a smart object. I'll just get rid of that. There we go. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to adjustments and I'm going to go to threshold and I'm going to change it until you've got enough white space in there so it doesn't look weird. And you're going to, so like, I wouldn't go for something like that. You want to have enough white space so it doesn't look weird and enough black in there so you can tell what the image is. So I'm going to go for something around here. So you can still tell what the image is. Um, and then I'm also going to go and yeah, I think that looks nice. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some text. Um, so I don't know what I don't know what I call the album. Um, what's a good album name? Uh, let's do Daytona. Or no, let's uh, yeah, let's do Day Daytona by Pusha T. Okay, so let's make that big. I kind of like this this color. I didn't I I haven't put this in intentionally but I uh, I kind of like it so let's put that in let's see what we can do here so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rasterize it and then I'm gonna take each individual letter uh, then I'm gonna go to select modify border and I'm gonna do f I'm gonna probably Sorry, not border, expand. And I'm gonna make it four. Nah, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna probably gonna make it six or seven. Cause I want it to be, expand seven. And then you wanna click on the layer that has this. And you wanna take that out. Okay. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make this the same color as the threshold, just black, and see what that looks like. Okay. I kind of like this. I'm gonna go in and take out the these parts. Just so it gives it more. There we go. And so you can see the text of it well. Um, I'm going to merge these two together. Gonna add some noise quickly. Like so. And then I think. Hmm. Let me just think about what I need to add here. Um, 
Something we could do is distort. So we could bring that down like that and that up like that. Gives it a bit of action uh, and then we can centralize that. Like so. And that's pretty much it. That's that's uh, the quickest album cover I could make. Um, it's really easy, really simple. You can do loads of different variants with it. Um, this is just one, and I think you guys will have a lot of um, different ways of making your own creative different album covers. This is like the easiest thing you do, um, and it comes off and it looks like quite decent. I mean, if that was on an album cover, I wouldn't dismiss it. It looks quite cool. Um, but stay tuned for tomorrow because I'm going to be doing another album cover video tomorrow. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys in the next video. See ya.